Did you ever pull an all-nighter in a haunted house? Paranormal investigators Dennis and Tim pair up as Nerve Paranormal to spend the night in this haunted place. They set up cameras and a tape recorder inside. First, a shadow in the corner is seen. Once they have the cameras positioned, they go to sleep. Something immediately messes with their camera. And then their lights. Another camera captures something entering their room. You're probably asking yourself, how could they sleep through all that racket? Well, they won't sleep through this. There's nothing inside, but there definitely is. And I think Dennis and Tim won't be getting any more sleep tonight. This aerial footage was broadcast live during a period of bad weather in Hebron, Ohio. Take a look at this flooded neighborhood and tell me if you see anything abnormal lurking in the dirty brown water. We are with uh, some specialist, Carl Parker, so if you want to stay on and uh, have a listen, Carl's been looking at that. A worm-like creature appears to wind its way around a house shortly before the camera zooms out. While this could be an ordinary piece of driftwood from the way it's moving in the water, I wouldn't be surprised if the floodwaters caused some sort of giant parasite to emerge from the sewers below. Mick Jugger Nuggets is a famous YouTuber who comes home one day only to find evidence of a serious break-in. Some of his possessions are missing, things that he is sure were in his room earlier before. Somebody took the hard drive. Hard drive to what? All my behind the scenes. Somebody literally came into the house and must have taken this shit. I'm going to check the security camera. He argues with his father for a bit about the likelihood of someone breaking in, but the security video does not lie. Hold on, here it comes. Sure enough, some stranger cases the house by knocking on the door a few times, even going so far as trying the knob. Soon, he uses a long tool to pry open a window and reaches inside to quickly scoop up a nearby hard drive before taking off. Oh my god, dude. Much to Mick Jugger Nugget's amazement, the window was right next to his bed. He soon comes to the sickening realization that this person, who was perhaps a stalker, literally reached into his room to retrieve a hard drive full of unedited video content. Who knows what this deranged fan will come back for next time. It's 3 a.m. and something is terrifying YouTuber Mo Sarji at this haunted cabin in the woods. Let's see what it is. Mo seems to be sensing a spirit around them. Is it weird that my ears, my left ear is ringing like crazy right now? Well, they say that's a sign of spirit around you. Then they see a light in a nearby building. It shouldn't be on. There you go. You can see that the light in the mill is on right now. That should be off. Holy shit. There's something causing it to stay on. A moment later, this happens. Let's just... Oh, oh, oh! I just seen it! What the Dude! Dude! I got it on camera, did you? It's motion activated, so something must be inside. They arrive at this creepy haunted cabin, isolated in the middle of the woods. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, nice. Is that it? 
Yeah, that's it. Whoa, it's even creepier at nighttime. As soon as they're near it, they get a reading on their K2. Whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we got something here. Let's go inside and check this out. Once inside, they discover something horrifying. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking the shack itself isn't what's haunted. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking someone who ever nailed the roof in here or the wood did some type of black magic, like put a type of nail in here. Is most theory correct? Is this a dark magic shack? From the outside looking in, it appears so. It's not here now. Oh wait, right, it's back. Yeah, right. No, on on the other side. Jesus. Yeah, there's big bugs out there. <laughs> there's so it, many. It's gone now. Now it's mapping out Angelo. When the team asks the spirit if it's there, it responds via REM pod. Sean, is that you? I'm feeling very fatigued all of a sudden. Mm. That went to green. It's amazing how this is responding to the comments you guys are making. Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, John, is that you? And it, again. Sean is here. I do believe the team is being followed by something. But is it Sean? It could be anyone. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f*** was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall, but they light up the entire area, and there is no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. Fauso Perez believes he has forged a spiritual connection with an extraterrestrial. He sets up a camera to demonstrate his capabilities and waits for a response. Means in the sky, come to me, give me a sign, uh, help me advance to high level of consciousness. Let me see you. Less than ten minutes later, he and his team spot a foreign white square twisting in the wind. This is what he affectionately refers to as a flying carpet, as it's apparently just one of the many regular visitors he receives from the sky. Whatever this square-shaped object is, it has to be absolutely huge to be visible from this far away. Only one of the cameras manages to catch it. Overall, no one can say for sure if this is a real encounter or a mere coincidence. If Fauso is wrong about this extraterrestrial sighting, then I have no idea what it could actually be. These guys were wandering through the forest when they encountered someone who at first appeared lost, but after a moment they realized something was very wrong. Has he got any chance? Yo, mate. Hello, mate. He's got something in his hand. Whoa, whoa, why have you got that? Come on, lower it down. After this strange encounter, the boys follow the crazy man's rubbish to its hiding place. Be cautious, Luke. The roof looks like it's about to collapse. Georgie, that's not rubbish, bro. Figure, ain't it? Hello? When they realize it's a person, and a living person at that, they start to unravel the bag and the mystery. Oh, fag. He's alive, bro. He's alive. He's alive. Where's he gone? Is he gone? Oh my God. What? Oh my God. Did he take you? What was this axe man going to do with this boy? What is that? There was someone there. There was someone there. What is that? He's back, bro. He's back. After this most recent encounter, we could probably guess. A YouTuber named Noah DB5 hopes to find creepy haunted places to explore around his campus, and so Randonautica takes him to a nearby cemetery. But not just any cemetery. Oh god, there's more screaming as we're approaching the graveyard. A cemetery with scary screaming noises at night, and later on while exploring a different area, he hears the same scary noises again, this time from deeper within the woods. Okay guys, hold on. I'm not kidding. Something from the forested area, we're hearing noises right now. I hope it happens again because it's right by the river. So it could- What? What is that dude? This sounds like it could be some kind of wild animal to me, but other people are saying that this could be a mysterious creature like the rake, and that he is most likely being followed. 
Noah has asked if you would subscribe to his channel and check out his other videos like this one. This is the same house that made number two on my list about mysterious things caught on tape in Texas. In that video, I verified that somebody really did have their life taken while exploring the premises. Now, someone may have actual footage of their ghost. Whoa! You can see what appears to be a small hand beacon them from the window. I guess they could have had a third person climb to the second floor to make this video as a prank. Can someone who has been brave enough to go inside of the house tell me if it's possible to get up to the second floor? If you can't get access to the second floor, then this video is probably real. Either way, many people claim to have seen the ghosts of small children in doorways and windows of the abandoned property. So even if this video is fake, then the house is almost definitely still haunted. A YouTuber named Shahara Negron and her family have been experiencing some strange activity ever since they moved into a new place. Lately, her daughter has been complaining that her toys have been moving all by themselves and one doll in particular seems to be at the center of it all. This doll actually looks like and it's kind of old, well, I have nothing really precious or special about it, but it just has this feeling about it. She sits and watches the doll as orbs dance all around. It isn't long before something starts to happen. This is some freaky. It's oh, I'm about to run. What the? Whoa, what the fuck? I was thinking that somebody hidden behind the chair was moving it, but then the recliner footrest comes out by itself at the end. As far as I know, somebody would have had to grab the lever on the side or press the button, but I don't see anyone. Tell me if you think this family is legitimately being haunted. Seva Solutions is a health and lifestyle YouTube channel with a video that's going to creep out anyone eating an apple right now. For those of you who don't know, grocery stores actually will cover apples in literal wax to make them look shiny and therefore more appealing to buy. That means every time you bite into an apple, you're potentially eating wax. This YouTuber has created a method of getting the store wax off and wait until you see what it looks like at the end. First, she jabs an apple and runs lemon juice around the outside to loosen the wax bond. After that, she pours boiling hot water over the apple to fully remove the substance. After a few minutes of turning and pouring, she is finally finished. So as you can see, this is all of the just waxy stuff that came off of the apple. It's pretty gross when you think about that that's what you consume when you just think you're eating a nice healthy apple. This sludge at the bottom of the bowl is what the wax looks like once it comes off. Pretty gross, huh? It's definitely not something I want to eat. This video made me curious about organic apples, so I did some research and yes, they have wax on them too. Apparently the wax has been made out of a special organic substance, but I would rather they not do this at all. YouTuber Joey Official is staying in the Haunted Queen Mary in room B340. Watch what happens next. I'll never unsee that. Bro, oh, what is going on? Oh my god. Bro, what the hell? What the hell is happening? Room B340 has significant paranormal activity dating back to 1967. Not only does the activity not look staged, but I'm sold that this place is haunted based on their sheer terror. This father and son paranormal team is about to check into a haunted hotel, published by Paranormal Boys in December of 2021. When they first enter, they find everything in disarray. They sit down around the table, and it sounds like something has joined them. As they're using their paranormal devices, they hear a strange breathing sound, and then another unexplained noise. Oh, whoa, whoa. did you hear that? 
No. Has someone taken a room at this haunted hotel? If so, they may never leave. Worms aren't only found in insects. They can also be found in that next bell pepper you buy from the produce aisle. The uploader writes, That thing was in a pepper. Looks like he wants to grow in someone's gut, lol. What is that thing? The thing looks like a tapeworm. But according to Snopes, the worm inside the pepper actually isn't that dangerous. The viral video came to light in August of 2019. The stringy worm moving inside the pepper was something a lot of viewers couldn't unsee apparently. And many saw it as it was reposted on Facebook a million times with viewers warning about the worm. Some posts warned that the worm was called Simbla Merch and that it was a new type of worm that delves into moist areas of the body, resulting in possibly passing away. The claims, however, like so many posts on Facebook, were inaccurate. One said it might be a horsehair worm, which we talked about in the previous Parasite entry, but adult horsehair worms are darker. Even the original message was false. This is not a new type of worm. It's been around since the dawn of time. Lesson learned. Clean and prepare your green peppers properly, but still eat them. Another lesson learned. Randy films his cat taking a midday snooze when something creepy moves overhead. I would say this is just a particle of dust except the cat sees it too and bolts upstairs like it's one of the scariest moments it's ever had in all of its nine lives. Something makes the cat open its eyes. It senses something is wrong. Then an apparent ghost storm floats by, and suddenly the cat no longer wants to be in the same room anymore. Skeptics, I'm sure, will be quick to point out that the cat could have been startled by the camera. That's a good point, except cats usually don't run in fear from their owner. This cat seems to have felt the presence of something, a feline sixth sense of sorts, and it doesn't stick around. Is this a real witch crawling toward her would-be victims? YouTuber Mangle Morassing thinks so. This old woman is captured creeping along a dirt road toward the camera in the middle of the night. Others are shouting at her, and she is shouting back. And her manner is truly upsetting. If she's not a witch, I do think she is something not of this world. I mean, just look at those eyes. Deep inside these tunnels lies something no one was meant to see. Published to YouTube in November of 2016, Connor Does Adventure explains, We did not fake or plan any of this. We just started recording for a blog and this is what we found. Entering deep into a watery tunnel, the boys start to hear something. No, I can't see. They all freak each other out and start running towards an exit. At first, you think they were just scared and adrenaline caught up with them, but it turns out someone or something was in fact chasing them. Once out in the sunlight, they stand at the entrance before heading into the tunnel a short ways again. A strange squealing sound can be heard, and as the camera focuses in, a figure is clearly seen, although it's unlike any creature you'd ever seen before. It's gray skin and alien-like, and it's marching towards them with a determined air. Any ideas what this is? Is it a madman? Or is it a watery tunnel creature? Most importantly, is this thing harmless, or should they be running immediately? Don't wait around to find out. Fallon Taylor is a YouTuber who got the scare of a lifetime while competitively riding. She has almost finished a timed run when a surprised audience member points to something off camera. Less than four seconds later, a huge white bull breaks free from its pen and nearly collides with Fallon Taylor and her horse. Watch again and you'll see how close Fallon comes to getting knocked clean off. She barely dodges the bull by a few feet and makes it back to the safety of the horse pen. At first, I thought the perspective made the event look exaggerated, but Fallon later says she had to put her arm out and could almost touch the bull. 
I definitely believe her, but I'd like to know how close you thought the bull was when you first saw this video. Dominic Marquez of Albuquerque, New Mexico says you're definitely going to believe his ghost sighting caught on CCTV video is real when you see it. Somebody is walking down the street when all of the sudden, they're simply not. <laughs> Ghost. It's That's true, dog. The person morphs into a floating orb and briefly becomes human again before going back into its second form. And to top off an already bizarre video, this creepy thing happens next. Again. Bro, I'm telling you, there's nobody there. <laughs> the neighbor's rather bright motion detector lights turn on when the ghost walks by. Nothing's there. If it was a CCTV glitch on Dominic's camera, then why would motion lights go on across the street? It looks like he was right about me believing this paranormal video is real. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.